Hope you're doing good. Might get back to another video. Back here to talk about my top five features that I use with my Galaxy S24 Plus. Now, some of these features were introduced and included with the S24 Plus or the S24 series as a whole that has now trickled down or will be trickling down to previous Galaxy devices. And some of these have also trickled over to the Google Pixel devices. But nonetheless, we're gonna get into five things that I absolutely adore using and that I use on a regular with my Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. So if you're interested in this video, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell. It's all free that way. It's my video so you and I can sit back and see what's cracking. Now, let's get into the video. And case of the day is Samsung's SVU wallet case. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. I have already done an unboxing video for this, but I really love this professional uniform look with the window glance into the phone just double tap and voila you got the time right there so i'll have that down in the description box for you guys this is a notable mention feature if you will now the features that i'm going to list are not in any particular order in terms of my number five the number one and from number one to number five you guys know I like to start from the outside going in and starting with feature one, as you guys can see right here, is this photo ambient wallpaper. Now, in order to get to it, you got to go to settings and then in advanced features, you go to labs and then in labs, you'll see it right there at the bottom, photo ambient wallpaper. And so you got to make sure that this is toggled on. It is an experimental feature, but this started working much, much better after the February update and after the March update. And so once you do that, then what you're going to do is leave advanced features. You're going to come in here to wallpaper and style. And then upon seeing change wallpapers, you're going to click on that. Scroll down right here in creative. You got photo ambient. And so then you're going to choose one of your wallpapers, as I already have. And then it's just going to set it. And initially, it may not show you anything, but... It will, once you have it activated, show you what's going on. Right now, it's a very nice sunny 70 degree day down here in, in, the, in the Georgia area. And so we get a nice, beautiful sun ray beaming in from the left side. I love this feature. It also works when it's raining because we've had some rain. I've seen it raining on my lock screen and I was actually surprised. I was like, what is happening to my lock screen right now? But it was because of the photo ambient actually working. And it works, of course, in tandem with your weather widget or your weather so if you use samsung weather specifically you definitely should have no problems using photo ambient i don't think it should matter in terms of weather but i would imagine because it's a samsung feature it's going to be baked in with the samsung native weather app much like much like any other phone and their hard, uh, software features they always work hand in hand with one another Feature number two is also a wallpaper feature, and it is the generative AI wallpaper. Now, I typically use this as well, but I right now they will not allow you to download the wallpapers after creating them because I would use a wallpaper that I created with the photo ambient just to add that double layer of satisfaction. And... I can't right now, which is unfortunate, but these are the wallpapers that I've created so far in here. And it all, all it does is use AI. It's really simple. All you got to do is choose one of these topics down here. So let's go with terrain over here on the left. Upon clicking that, this is what it gives you. It says surreal beach in shades of silver. So you can change any of these out if you wanted to, because I like that. I actually might keep that one in itself. Uh, let's see here. I think I have to set it in order to keep it. But if I wanted to generate, I just hit the generate button. Let's say I didn't want to change anything. I hit the generate button. It's going to now with AI. I'm sure they might use some level of online you know, processing, which I don't mind. I use online processing. And this is taking a little bit longer. But now, as you guys can see, you get some nice, cool-looking wallpaper. I wish you could choose them all, right? But it does not necessarily allow you to. So for me, because I like these a lot, I might take this one and I'll set this one for my home screen. And now, that's my home screen. So now what I have to do is actually change 
my home screen's wallpaper or my widgets on my home screen. So that way, oh no, okay, they blend in a lot better there. So that's how you can adjust your wallpaper for your lock screen or regular wallpaper with the generative AI feature. And for me, I am still fair in that I use the AI to create wallpapers and I still use wallpapers created by actual other artists and users for my aesthetic and support and so i'm not completely ai taken over but i do find appreciation for samsung adding that feature feature number three is galaxy ai in general so coming back into here if we come back over here to advanced features and we click on advanced intelligence or galaxy ai we see that they've added ai to several of their apps and they work very well but the one that i use in particular on a regular basis is their summarize capabilities and i usually use that within here so i'm going to showcase two different features here and so as i mentioned galaxy ai in general specifically summarize i'm going to click on this article mcu canceling eternals 2 captain marvel 3 ant-man 4 a little surprising that they're going to cancel Eternals 2 because I was actually looking forward to that one. Captain Marvel can be scrapped and Ant-Man 4 can basically be scrapped. But let's say I didn't want to read this whole article, right? Well, by pulling down, you see that center button? The summarize feature. What? Oh, it will not summarize this article for me. Can't summarize content for websites with... Oh, so see, now I'm learning something a little bit new. So with Forbes, I guess technically you can't do that which is very interesting. So I think that may have been an update with the February or March update because I have not noticed that up until now with this feature. So we're going to put the Galaxy AI on pause real quick and go to feature number four, which is circle to search. Now circle to search, I do like using. So we see we're talking about no eternals, right? So if I press and hold circle to search, I'm going to come over here and circle that. And now not only does it highlight and confirm some more information right here, talking about why Eternals 2 was canceled along with other movies, it's highlighting from this article. What I can do is actually change what I want to actually be searched by Google, and now it pulls up articles about Eternals in general. And look how easy that is. And so I like this because at a glance, Right there real quick, if you need information on something, Circle to Search will provide that for you without have you having to leave and go to diff several different places and have to switch between apps. It'll all do it right there, stacked on top of each other in that material you like design for information right on time when you need it. So I had to skip to feature number four when it came to Circle to Search because I do like using Circle to Search with my Galaxy S24 Plus. But now, if we want to go back to Galaxy AI real quick, let's choose this article. No, I can't do another Forbes article. All right, let's do Game Rant. March 21st will be a day, a big day for Horizon for Ben West. So that's going to be interesting. Now, if I want to summarize this, I hit summarize. Uh, the, the AI button, then I hit summarize. What it's going to do now is summarize this article and boom. And you see, you get all the points for Ben Rest. It's coming to PC on March 21st, 2024, with graphical upgrades and accessibility features. So that's why it's going to be a big day for Horizon because it's coming to PC with ultra wide resolutions, DLSS, NVIDIA, uh, ref is that Reflex, and full dual sense support. So Hey, those who have PlayStation or PC and want to get in the horizon for Ben West, it will be available. And I didn't have to read this entire article to get all this information. It summarized it right there where I didn't have to do a lot of scrolling, trying to find the key information that I was looking for. That is what I like about Galaxy AI and the summarized feature. And side note, Google Messages is rolling out emoji reaction effects. So... One day that'll hit this phone. It should be relatively soon. Google's not too slow when it comes to rolling out these kind of updates. And what is feature number five for the Galaxy S24 Plus? Well, for me, it's a combination of things, which includes the complete, I want to say, upgrade of smooth everyday use. After that March update, I noticed so much more silky smoothness but you see even going over to the discovery page it doesn't even jitter or like you know lag potentially it just does it right the widgets 
smooth, so fast, so smooth. Look how fast it just opens. Look at the transition, right? If I even do it here, let's go to YouTube. Let's open YouTube real quick. And then I want to go back. I know I'm back on ads. Uh, it's only for a brief moment. Look at just how smooth that is, right? If I want to go into an app, no, no updates there. I want to come in here, check the Play Store. We have some upgrades that are still pending in the background. If I hit update all up here, we see that it's Android AI Core and YouTube Studio. So some more improvements to the core. But you see how it just, and you see how fast those updates are happening. Well, that's because of UFS 4.0. But just how smooth and fast this phone is. And look at that. Even upon putting that there, you see how fast all that responds? Just beautiful. And I just love how their native cases work so well with their phones as well. I think just in general, the combination of these last couple updates, February and March updates, and that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is a feature in it of itself, bringing complete stability to the Galaxy S24 Plus. So I definitely thought I would highlight that as my last feature because those AI features, those wallpaper features, those aren't going to work successfully and be worth using if the phone lags, if it takes a long time, if the phone jitters and slows down, if the phone overheats. There's no heating whatsoever using those features from that perspective. Now, maybe if you're using them extensively over time, you know, within a small period of time, then you may see some heat. But just using them real quick and going over this, I mean, it's just been it's just been a flawless experience. Just look at this, just a flawless experience, being able to highlight everything so fast with no problems. I'm not waiting around for anything. The only spot you notice a little, you know, lag, if if we want to use that term, lag, is when it was generating an AI photo. It had to take a little bit of time to do that, but that's not a big deal at all. The Galaxy S24 Plus, or almost two months later, has been rocking super smooth. So shout out to Samsung for crushing it this year with the Galaxy S24 series, specifically here with the S24 Plus. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about the S24 Plus. What are some of your favorite features that you guys use? The comment section is open for discussion. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell. It's all free. That way, you know, it's my videos. So you and I, can sit back and see what's cracking. It's your man Micah signing out. Until the next video. Wait for.